No sign of Senator Amidala's ship, sir. Keep looking. We're not leaving without her. Wait! Was that a beacon? Where? That's no beacon. Released on the same day as Clone Wars lightsaber duels in 2008, Star Wars The Clone Wars Jedi Alliance takes a player on a journey set in the animated Star Wars universe. <laughs> Developed for the Nintendo DS, the game offers an experience that allows players to step into the shoes of Jedi Knights and engage in epic battles against the forces of evil. The game utilizes complete use of the Nintendo DS stylus to control the character's movement and actions, especially during combat. Touchscreen controls are simple and responsive, allowing players to execute lightsaber strikes, force powers and special combat maneuvers with ease. You presume to assault us on our home planet? You'll pay for your arrogance. Special action sequences, the player must complete quick time events by quickly making the correct style of strokes on screen to help the character avoid a deadly situation. Based on the Clone Wars movie and the first season of the animated series of the same name, Jedi Alliance features a unique storyline set between Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. The Jedi go in search of a missing cargo containing lightsaber crystals and begin to unravel a plot involving the Separatist army led by Count Dooku and General Grievous. Amidst the turbulence of the Clone War years, the Jedi Council receives a distress call from one of its ships under attack from an unknown enemy. They came out of nowhere. We're completely overwhelmed. There was nothing we could do. We have to help them. The Sedouan was carrying a supply of lightsaber crystals from Ilum. In this war, a great risk it is to send young Padawans to Ilum. Bring the crystals to Coruscant. Build their lightsabers here, we decided. The crystals are useless to anyone but a Jedi. What would anyone want with them? Ask the wrong question, Juju. Killed by someone using a lightsaber, the trooper was. Count Dooku. Perhaps. But for now, unclear in the matter that is. Yes. That is why it is imperative we investigate this matter immediately. The adventure brings nine levels in which the player must select two out of six Jedi to complete the task at hand. There are two different types of Jedi, combat and environmental. This means the player is encouraged to use different combinations of Jedi type pairs to uncover new areas and collectibles throughout the main storyline. The choice has been made, the action starts, and players can use the stylus of the Nintendo DS to direct the team through polygonal 3D levels, complete with basic battling and puzzling challenges. Ventress, I should have known you were involved. You'll find there are many things you're ignorant of, Jedi. I hate these pesky droids. At least With smart touchscreen sure controls, like engaging is. gameplay, and a captivating storyline, it successfully yeah, captures the essence of the Clone about? Wars era. Although the DS graphical's limitations are evident, the game makes the most of the hardware and delivers a visually pleasing experience.